Hello friends, welcome to our channel Brain Exploders, where we share all kinds of brain boosters, teasers, puzzles, riddles and stumping questions. Here is our previous question. Find the ratio of areas of shaded and unshaded region in the following figure. Here we have an isosceles triangle. There is a circle inscribed in it which is touching all three sides of the triangle. And another circle is touching the previous circle and two sides of the triangle. And in the similar way, many circles are drawn here. Equal angles of the isosceles triangle are given theta. Here we have to calculate the ratio of areas of shaded region and unshaded region. If you have not tried this question yet, you can pause the video for more time. So here is the solution. Let's draw a direct common tangent to the first two circles. Now if we analyze only that part of the triangle which is on the left side of this tangent, then we can clearly see that the triangle that we get is exactly same as the previous one. And here the ratio of the shaded and unshaded region will also be equal to the previous ratio. If the ratio of shaded and unshaded region is S upon U and in our process we have removed some part from the shaded region say A and some part from the unshaded region say B then we get S upon U is equal to S minus A upon S minus U minus B and with this information we can conclude that S upon U is equal to A upon B. Hence the part which we have removed from our analysis or we can say that the trapezium which we have removed from our triangle also has the same ratio of shaded and unshaded region as this triangle has. So here if we analyze only this trapezium even then we can calculate the ratio of shaded and unshaded region. So let's focus on the trapezium. Let us suppose that, that the radius of the circle is equal to R. Here OF is equal to OE is equal to radius of the circle and angle OEC is equal to angle OFC is equal to 90 degree. Because OF is the radius and DC is a tangent and tangent is always perpendicular to the a radii and uh, both the angles are equal and equal to 90 degree and OC is common in the two triangles OEC and OFC hence with this data we get that uh, triangle OEC is concurrent to triangle OFC hence angle OCE must be equal to angle OCF and here we can at once see that the angle OCE is half of the angle FCE that is theta by 2. Now applying trigonometry in the triangle OCE we can get EC is equal to R cot theta by 2 and since BC is twice of EC then BC is equal to 2 R cot theta by 2 and AD is equal to 2R tan theta by 2 in the similar way. Now applying the formula for area of trapezium, we get area of trapezium is equal to 1 upon 2 to sum of parallel sides multiplied by distance between them. That is 1 upon 2 bracket 2R cot theta by 2 plus 2R 10 theta by 2 multiplied by 2r and that is equal to 2r square cot theta by 2 plus 10 theta by 2 and area of circle is equal to pi r square. Now area of shaded region is equal to pi r square since only circle is shaded here and rest of the area is unshaded as area of shaded region upon area of unshaded region is equal to pi r square upon 2r square bracket cot theta by 2 plus 10 theta by 2 minus pi r square and our ratio is equal to pi 
upon 2 cot theta by 2 plus tan theta by 2 minus pi and that is our solution let's move to our another question find the area of the yellow region in the following figure here we have a circle in sky square touching all four sides of the square. We have an another circle which is touching the previous circle and the square at a common point and the difference of diameters of the two circles are given two units. We have to calculate the area of this yellow region. Try this question and comment as the solution. If your solution is correct, we will announce your name in our next video. If you have any question like this, send us on the gmail given in the description box. Don't forget to like and share our video and for more such videos, subscribe to our channel Brain Exploders. Thanks for watching.